Right, so I just got finished watching Game of Thrones. So I love the first half of it. Uh, up until the bit where Daenerys was killed by Jon. I thought that was a really cool bit where he killed her. It was a shock death, which we which we you know we like in Game of Thrones. So, uh, and then the dragon, the scare, was he going to kill Jon? Can Jon be killed by dragon fire? I mean, does he have that flame retardant skin? I don't know, but he didn't. He melted the throne. I've been waiting for some cunt to sit on that for eight seasons. To see someone in it and they melt it halfway through this episode. Fuck off, that was stupid. Then, why did the Unsullied capture and arrest John? Or the Dothraki even? Any of them, they're so loyal to Daenerys, she freed them. Well, she didn't free the Dothraki, but, you know, they're loyal to her because of Khal Drogo and all that shit. And they're not exactly civilised people, are they? And then you've got the Unsullied, who were freed by Daenerys. They love Daenerys, they're loyal to Daenerys. They see that he's killed her, and they're going to arrest him. No, they fucking wouldn't. They'd fucking kill him there and then. So then the, then we have the uh, the bit with the people all round in the tent, and they're discussing what to do, and Grey Worm's there with Tyrion. And Sansa says, where's Jon? We've got a hundred, a thousand Northmen out there if you don't fucking comply. And that's when I thought, oh, sweet, we're going to get an epic battle. Northmen and wildlings versus Dothraki and Unsullied. This is going to be great. No, we have a nice fucking civilised chat about who's going to be the fucking next king. And Grey Worm goes along with this. I don't know why. Why would he just be like, oh, OK, then let's pick a new king. Maybe I shouldn't do the accent. But do you know what I mean? Like... It, this is something he only followed Daenerys because she freed him. He was she was his queen because of that reason, and she fr she even said, "You don't even have to follow me. You're free now. Do what you want." But he chose to follow her. So why would he choose to follow someone else who these people, who he's been enemies with, would decide is the new king? He wouldn't. He would not do that. It just doesn't make sense. Uh, sorry, I've written some notes here. Uh, yeah, why were Brienne and Sir Davos on, the, well, Sir Brienne now, but why were Sir Brienne and Sir Davos on that council as well? Because it said it was the most powerful people in the land. She's a soldier, and he was some, he was, uh, he was a uh, hand to, who was he hand to? Was he hand to, well, he was hand to Stannis at some point. I think he was hand to John, if John could have hands. But anyway, you know, he weren't one of the most powerful people in the land. They were, they were just soldiers or, uh, or an advisor. Maybe Seth Davos, but Brienne, no. That was, why was she there? It's because she's a popular character. And you could say, oh, she was there as a bodyguard to Sansa. Then why did she say I? Why did she have a say in who should be king? And the fact they even picked Bran. I've been saying this since season two, but I mean it now more than ever. Fuck off, Bran. Nobody likes you. He's the most useless fucking character going. He's got all these magical powers now, but he's never fucking used them. Uh... What has he been good for? Oh, he found out that fucking John and Daenerys were related and the Targaryen married Lyanna Stark and all that shit. Oh, well, do you know what else? So did Samwell. So we didn't fucking need you, did we, Bran? And he knew all this was going to happen in the end. Uh, it was He's a stupid character and pointless and he's the fucking king now. And I gar I'm pretty fucking certain that this is not what George R. R. had in mind. And if, he, and if it was, then more filming. Also, fucking brown eyes, blue eyes, green eyes. Where did that prophecy go? Same with Ahor, Azai, Ahor, Az 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 or whatever the fuck his name is, and the Lord of Light shit. Nowhere. Ugh. Um, da 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 da. Fuck off, Bran. That's one of my notes. Bran is master of coin. He's he's a fucking he's a sell he's a sell sword. What? Because he knows how to fucking sell his sword. He can now be a brilliant mathematician for the realm. No, Samwell or someone else. Even said Avos probably. He's but Bran. You would not trust him with your fucking treasurer. Mentor. That's it. He's a fucking thief. He's, he's motivated by money. You would not trust him with your treasurer. Stupid. Um. Also, Ghost was obviously just shoehorned in at the end because of all the backlash from when John just fucked off, fucked off on him. I mean, that's not really a big gripe, but I'm just like, ugh, so obvious what they did there. Um. Also, that the Marvel humour around that table, when they, they had the council meeting with Tyrion and fucking Bronn and all them, and they were just having a fucking nice big laugh. Oh, lols. Pathetic. And then, uh, too many people survived. That was one thing. Too many people survived. 
we've had all, we, all these characters die throughout the entire series, and then on the last couple and the last season, pretty much everyone fucking survives. Half the fucking cast at the beginning of the season is still fucking just oh yeah, Pod Podrick survives. Why not kill Podrick? Why not kill Brienne? Why not? I know the popular characters. I like them. I like Tyrion. I, I don't want Tyrion to die. I don't think Tyrion should have died. But uh, you've got all the fucking Stark kids still alive. Kill two of them. You could kill Sansa and kill fucking uh, Bran. Yeah? Even though he's supposed to be king. No, he shouldn't have been king. Someone else should have been king. Kill Bran. Kill Sansa. There's two of them gone. Fucking Sir Davos. Kill him. You, Samuel should survive, sort of, because he's... But he could die. Uh, I just, just too many people survived. Too many people had happy endings. And I know what, I've had this discussion with someone saying, well, they weren't happy endings. No, they weren't happy endings, but they were all right endings. And that cheesy fucking music at the end as John's sailing off into the fucking forest. And he got no punishment. He just, he, he's chilling now with Tormund in the fucking forest, drinking fucking goat's milk, getting pissed. Sorted. Uh, are you sailing across the sea with a fucking smile on her face? Great Worm's not happy and everything, but he's, he's still buzzing. Well, not buzzing, but he's still you know, he's not, just happy, aren't they? Just everything's going great for everyone. And that cheesy fucking music as John's riding off, it felt like I was watching Xena Warrior Princess or something. Just fucked me right off. Um, yeah, it's going to go down as worse than the Star Wars prequels for me. Probably. I'm going to have to process it. It's really raw right now. But I'm going to have to process this, and I think it is. I think it is. Um, the only good point... Like I said, Danny's death. The, fir the first half, really. And then Danny's death. That was a cool moment. Didn't know what was going on. Just went downhill from there. Um, I really like Brienne writing in Jamie's biography. Uh, filling it out, finishing it off. And then at the end, died protecting his queen. That was a nice little touch, even though, you know, we know that Cersei's an evil cunt. But there you go. It was nice. Uh, Tom and, and Brienne. Uh, there's still a chance for them. That's what I'm thinking now. That's the, that's the big takeaway for me. Tom and Brienne both still alive. Who knows what could happen there? And that, that's how I'm going with it now. I'm just going to say, yeah, Tom and Brienne got together and had giant babies and they went and took over Bran. And, you know, that's it. They, they rule now. They're babies. Um, but, yeah, that's Game of Thrones for me. Boring. Load of shite. Should have, if it had just ended on an epic battle. That, what should have happened? John kills Daenerys. The Unsullied kill John in retaliation. Sansa's pissed off, rightly so. Well, not rightly so, but Sansa's like, fucking just kill my brother. Right, come on, Northman. Tormund, you mate, John's dead. Come fucking join us. Right, okay. Dothraki and the Unsullied versus Northmen and fucking, what are they called? The Wildlings. Big fucking epic battle. Loads of people die. About five people survive. Some cunt sits on the throne. I don't care if it was Bran at that point. If it was Bran after an epic battle... I'd be like, all right, fair enough. Pop him on the throne. Yeah, sweet. And that's that bish bash bosh. That's how it should have ended. So there you go. That's my game of moans.